When DeSales Catholic School told us about an art project inspired by their alumni, they had our attention and we thought it would be something great to share with you. And it's called The Art of COVID. The challenge to seventh and eighth graders at DeSales went something like this. Create art based on how you view COVID. They quickly turned that into kind of um, like a considerate reflection, a thoughtful process. I, I felt like the room got really quiet. Art teacher Kristen McCabe watched as they opened up about feelings of concern, isolation, loneliness, and even loss. It was just like a flood filling their pages in their sketchbook of just written words or little sketches. Um, and they just kind of poured it out that way instead of necessarily talking in a group setting. Not only am I the principal here, but I actually have a 13 year old son who is in the eighth grade class. And so I got to see firsthand the effect it had on him, the isolation, the loneliness. I was so grateful when we were able to return to school. And then this opportunity that our alumni presented Kristen with just gave students this outlet to express themselves without having, you know, a medium to do it beforehand. They don't always like to open up. But they certainly have a lot to say. Kristen shared the inspiring message behind one of the projects. And he created a butterfly and I asked him why and he said because of the butterfly effect. Like everything that we do will affect somebody else in another way and how much more relevant is that right now um, to, to the, our actions helping somebody else stay safe or you know um, just keeping everybody safe that we love around us. And, how much that affected them. And sometimes they were a lot more worldly in their thinking, not necessarily thinking about how this affected us or themselves, but the whole world or even our greater community. It's an eye-opening realization, not beyond their years, but evidence of a truly shared experience for all of us, regardless of age. Through the Art of COVID collection, they've created something now that will endure and enlighten for years to come. I do remember our middle school social studies teachers telling the students like, this is a historical event. This is something you'll remember and tell your children and grandchildren about. So it's nice that now we have these artifacts that we can preserve and um, you know keep for those future generations. Some good lessons for all of us today. That is Most Buffalo for today. Thanks so much for being here. We will do it all again tomorrow. Until then, I'm Kate Wellchauffeur. Be well, stay well, and I will see you next time.